Hey guys, this right here is the Texas brown snake. This is probably one of the most common snakes that I get called to houses for. People commonly mistake these snakes for ground rattlers or copperheads, which is crazy to me because they actually look nothing like copperheads. They only average about nine to 12 inches as an adult. So you could call this guy pretty close to an adult. They commonly feed on caterpillars, spiders, frogs, virtually anything they can get their tiny, tiny little mouse on. But they also do like a valiant display whenever they feel threatened. They'll flatten out that head into a perfect triangle and then they'll strike at you, but they're mostly pseudo strikes, which is a fancy term for meaning false strikes. These guys typically just sit there and they'll shoot their head at you, but their mouth is closed the entire time. I've never had one of them try and bite me. So they're very, very nice snakes. You can see they, they calm whenever you're holding them, but typically they just want to run from you. Um, I, I find these guys sometimes three or four in a night on rainy nights. So they're very, very common on backwoods farm roads, usually around sand or grass or timber forest. But I also have a baby southern copperhead right here for you so you can compare the colors. You can see on Texas brown snakes, they have kind of like a white horizontal line or vertical line, excuse me, going all the way down their back. And then there's like two spots that are parallel on each side of its backbone. Then we have on its head, he's got a lot of black around his head. And then what separates them from the marsh brown snake is the marsh brown snake I have a lateral line right behind their eye. Whereas this guy, he's got these little black dots right above his mouth. Look at him, we're just wailing around right now. He's saying, hey man, I'm dying, put me down. And sometimes they'll musk on you too, which smells really bad, but harmless, completely harmless snake. So now that you've seen this dude, we're gonna compare him to the Texas copper, I mean, excuse me, the Texas copperhead, the Southern copperhead. This guy right here is a little tiny baby. You can tell that they're babies because of a green tail tip. So notice the banding pattern that we have. Hold on, see if I can get them. So notice the banding pattern that we have. There are bands that go around the sides of the snake. Beautiful, beautiful light brown with these dark brown bands. And of course, typical pit vipers, the elliptical slit pupils. That is excellent for night vision. It is practically dominant over any other type of night vision. They can see better than most other animals. But what is awesome about the southern copperheads when they're babies, along with uh, cotton mouse, is this green tail tip. I'll see if he'll let me show it to you, but his head's getting kind of close to my hand. That green tail tip right there is absolutely beautiful. And what they do is it's kind of like fishing. It's the exact same way that fishermen use it. They'll sit there and wiggle it and writhe it right in front of a frog or a toad or whenever they get older, they'll do it in front of little hopper mice or field mice. And then all of a sudden, as soon as they get close to come over there and get a hold of that worm, they just whack and venomate them. And pretty much after they die, they'll go chase them down and eat them. So it's, it's very effective in feeding the snakes and uh, very effective at keeping them alive when they're babies because they don't have to move around much. They just sit underneath the log, they can stay in safety, stick that little lure out, ride it, and the food comes to them. So it works very effectively for them. Gotta love these snakes. Once again, we got the southern copperhead right here, hiding. Like I said, you can see they're excellent camouflage. Absolutely excellent camouflage. And then the Texas brown snake, which has pretty much done bolted away. Uh, once you take your eyes off these guys, they're pretty much gone. So kiss them goodbye. Thank you, God, for these snakes. Always praise them for any of my snakes. Take it easy, fellas.